What's going on? This Sunday, we start the first corporate sprint where you're going to go through the process of setting up your first holding company, your first operating company. And what I'm going to do is have webinars Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, where if you have questions, you can ask me the questions that you need to ask so you can get up your holding company and operating company. This is really, really important for you to go ahead and get these things set up and to get your corporate banking set up because the future is bright for those who take action today. So let's get into this video to be able to get into the corporate citizen playbook. It's in the description and it's in the first comment. All right, so now let's get into this video. You know, let's go ahead and have a conversation. In 1996, 97, and 98, I was living in a boarding house, right? What, what does living in a boarding house look like? I was living in a room, didn't have a bathroom. The room had heat, but it didn't have air conditioning. And I was in that room for about three years. And then... I got laid off, and this is where, listening to Earl Nightingale, the power of your subconscious mind and meditation liberated me. And then I got my first job at Renacrate. And then I got my second job at Panel Systems. And then I got my third job at Business Environments. And this is one of the things that I consistently talk about learning how to sell, learning how to sell. And I'm going to talk through that process from 1998 to the beginning of 2000, which was about 18 months. I learned the process of selling. I learned how to find leads. I learned how to call people. I learned how to set appointments. I learned how to do sales presentations. I learned how to close. So this process has benefited me tremendously. Um, once again, before I discovered this process of learning how to sell and doing a sales thing, and let's just go ahead and talk about this. Learning how to sell and creating a sales process is work, but I wasn't rich when I left Renacrate. I think I had eight thousand dollars saved, and then when I left Panel Systems, I had close to twenty thousand dollars saved. And then when I got the business environments, that was the game changer because at Renacrate. I was what was called an appointment setter. And at Panel Systems, I did appointment selling, and then I started to go out on sales calls. And then when I got to business environments, I set my own appointments, I found my own leads, I went on my own sales calls, I did my presentations, I closed deals, and that's how I made money. So at business environments, that's where everything came together, the whole sales process process. And that's why I say, and it literally took, you know, I want you to think about this, really, really think about this, because I feel I spent three years living in that house. And in 18 months, I went from living in that house to living in a nicer house to paying cash for a BMW and to and in business environments, this is where I got the $250,000, which has been the jumpstart point. Uh, that $250,000, actually, when I started my selling brand new office furniture, I had like $350,000. And then when I got into the storage auction business, I had $300,000. And then when I got to doing YouTube, let's talk about that. I had... 300,000 plus in the bank. I sold not one, but two houses. So doing YouTube, 
I had about $500,000 cash money in the bank, no debt, paid off car. And, you know, I, one of the things that I get consistently from the, um, let's call them the men who are leaving the channel. There's a lot of men who are leaving the channel because they simply do not want to start a business. They simply do not want to, quote, be a responsible man. They don't want to be a leader. They don't want to be a protector. They don't want, so they're leaving the channel because that's all I'm talking about. So when I got in this position, I did not have any wealthy family. I did not have, at the time, I didn't even have any wealthy friends at the time. No wealthy family, no wealthy friends, none of that. I had none of that. And I, through learning how to sell, created my jumpstart package. Right now, I got a car that if I was to put it up for sale, I can sell this car for about $290,000. That would be the Porsche. My BMW, about 65, so my cars, 65, this watch right here, um, this watch has gone up, so that's 50. So just going on my two cars, 295, 65, 50, 110, just on my two cars and my watch, I have $400,000. $400,000 just on some things that I, I literally, well, I use my cars, I, I wear my watch every day. So essentially, what does that mean? And then there's money in the bank. And once again, I am not showing any more receipt, receipts. Shout out to the credit plug who's left a comment. They be getting salty when they see the receipts. I actually bought $400,000 worth of cars to start a car rental business. Showed you proof. Showed you the titles. Showed you all this other stuff. Right? So I didn't have, you know, the, the, there was this one comment that just pissed me off. Well, you know, the rich, you know, learning how to sell, you ain't going to make you rich. Really? Learning how to sell has made me rich because it gave me that seed capital. It gave me that seed capital. It gave me those early dollars. And like, once again, my cars and my watch. And then, you know, if I was just to sit around and because, you know, I have an enhanced insurance policy because I have a lot of video equipment and stuff. But, yeah, I am sitting on, you know, things, let's call them things, that if I hit a crisis, and that meant all the money in the bank disappeared for some reason, uh, and that that's not going to happen because I'll tell you in a minute why that's not going to happen. Um, I'm always sitting on a package of money, always. And, you know, when I started YouTube, so started YouTube <clears throat> sitting on 500000 and... Let's call my assets, the stuff that I have, <clears throat> just laying around, not including the cash money in the bank, about 500000 between the cars, the watch, and other stuff that I have sitting around. And that's just an extra bag of money. That's just extracurricular. Now, this is why I am never going to get scammed out of the money in the bank. 
see, there's, there's this thing that happens is I have my own security protocols. The bank accounts that my money, my FU money, call it my FU money, I don't do business with. There's no checks. There are no uh, debit card. And I have never done business using those checking accounts. So unless you get my login, and let's go ahead and tell you how the bank has that set up. You can have my email address and you can have my password and you still cannot log into my checking account. So there are multiple protocols to protect my money. But let's go ahead and talk about everything here. Everything started with learning how to sell. If I had not learned that process of learning how to sell, I would not be in the position that I'm in. Once again, there was a foolish man who's leaving the YouTube channel because once again, let, let, let's just have a conversation. I've showed you guys proof. I've showed you guys receipts. So I'm not just on here playing. And this is something else that I'm going to say that I don't think that any other internet personality can say. I was financially successful before YouTube and before I came on the internet. I want you to think about that. Really, really think about that. Because once again, learning how to sell is one of the greatest skill sets you can develop as a person. It is hands down one of the greatest skill sets that you can learn as a person. And I literally have, we're not even going to talk about the men who are leaving the channel because we're not even going to talk about them. What we're going to talk about is for the people who want to be successful, for the people who want to go out, start businesses, and learn how to sell, learn how to create corporations, learn all of these other things. Because I'm here to tell you that if you can learn the whole process, because, you know, like I said, I started in this game as an appointment setter and I worked myself up to a full commission salesperson. And here's the thing. After three months at business environments, business environments gave me $3,000 a month for three months. And after that, I was 100% commission. 100% commission. And this is why I think a 100% commission sales job is the best job to prepare you to become a business owner. Why? In a 100% commission sales job, if you don't sell nothing, you don't get no money. If you're a business owner and you have a business, if your business ain't selling nothing, you don't get no money. So that's why I feel that job prepared me and set me up for the greatest experience in my life. Learning how to sell, learning how to create, and learning how to build. Essentially, this created this whole paradigm. And if you are under this false assumption that if you don't learn how to sell, because uh, once again, when I got on this process, 18 months from 18 months, and I, the 18 months was include the time, let's say 24 months, two years. Two years prior, I was living in a boarding house. And two years in the future, at 250000 plus in my business bank account, driving a brand new paid off BMW, and I had more money than I knew what to do with. And this was two years after leaving that boarding house. So for anyone that wants to go, well, learning how to sell won't make you rich. 
I'm going to say bullshit to your weak ass because you just weak because you don't want to hear. Like I said, I provided receipts. I provided proof. And you still want to stay in your dungeon of being a stupid little bitch. That's for the men who are leaving the channel. That's for the men who don't want to become warriors, who don't want to go out and do anything. That's for these men. Because learning how to sell changed my life. Learning how to sell, like I just said, just the extracurricular stuff is at 500000 that's the extra. That's if, that's if the money in the bank disappeared. And let me go ahead and tell you what's going to happen in the future. At some point in the future, the extracurriculars is going to be like two or three million. This will be cars. This will be real estate. And all this comes from learning how to sell. Learning how to sell literally has changed and transformed my whole life life. But once again, there are some of you there who just don't want to do it because you feel because you've been wooed and seduced by these internet gurus that you could just blow a little hustle dust on what is it called? A play. Blow a little hustle dust on a play and then get all this money while you sit at home with Big Booty Betty. Let me go ahead and tell you, for the, those folks who believe that they can blow a little hustle dust, you're going to be 65 years old and poor and in bad health. Bad health. That's what's waiting for you. But if you want to actually get some real money and situate yourself to a process where you can be the man, where you can command and set up your life in the best way possible, you need to learn how to sell. And this is something that's going to be part of the corporate citizen playbook. We're going to get into learning how to sell, how to set up. Because see, there, there's so many things that go into learning how to sell. There's many, many different things. And this is something that we're going to break down in the corporate citizen playbook. And we're going to break it down so it's forever broken to help you achieve, to help you do the things that you need to do so you can be successful. The link to get to the Corporate Citizen Playbook is going to be below. And I think the next corporate sprint is going to be setting up a sales process. Because what I do is I give you the training in the Corporate Citizen Playbook and I'll follow that up with a live Q&A session. And I'm gonna start planning these stuff weeks in advance so that I give you time to rearrange your schedule so you can be there to grab this knowledge so you can go ahead and get busy and get active so you can go ahead and do the things you need to do to be successful. The link's below. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.